So sea stars, when they're looking healthy, have sort of puffy arms, they're, they're straight out, they might curl, like turn a bit, but when they're sick, they start to sort of like curl back on themselves. They get lesions on their surface and then their arms actually fall off and walk away. It's pretty noticeable when it happens. And that first disease outbreak, it hit the sunflower stars, which they seem to be some of our most susceptible ones. They're now listed as critically endangered. We've lost over 90% of their population from Mexico to Alaska, which is over 5 billion sea stars. What we've detected is essentially a new strain, which is kind of like a different genetic variant of an existing species. So the species Vibrio pectinicida as a whole had already been identified in the early 90s in France, and it was isolated from scallop farms where they were seeing these mortality events. And so we're dealing with the same species with sea star wasting disease, but we've characterized a novel strain here on the West Coast that's causing disease in sea stars. 